Are you constantly thinking about new ideas for your YouTube channel or for your YouTube videos? I don't know. Well, in this video, I'm going to be talking about five categories that will help you be more consistent. Hello everyone on YouTube, Masquerade here, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be discussing 5 YouTube video slash channel ideas that you can do consistently. Now keep in mind that I made this video particularly because I was wondering what video ideas slash channel ideas can you do consistently to the point where you don't have to really think of a new idea but more basically be consistent to the point where everything is kind of the same and it is very very uh, repetitive. Now, coming up with new video ideas for every single video that you make, it is very difficult and it's very hard to do. But maybe you want something easy, maybe you want something simple, maybe you just want something that doesn't require a whole lot of effort. Something that the theme and the topic is very persistent and unchanging. Uh, maybe like finding your own niche. Uh, like for example, some people do fashion and only make fashion type content. Some some people do music, some people do travel, some people do makeup, some people do comedy. Those are what keeps people and uh, creators consistent with their workflow. Something that will keep you on the same track. Now these categories that I'm going to be discussing, I don't want to say they are easy to do, but they to me are quite simple and require less effort in my opinion compared to other videos. And also I'm going to be giving you examples and an explanation of reasons reasons why I think these are simple and easy to do. So without further ado, let's get down to the video. So number one is vlogging or vlogs. So vlogging I feel like is very simple to do because it requires a little bit of effort but not a whole lot because basically I think vlogging is just like taking a camera and just filming yourself everywhere you go or something. Uh, what type of vlogs there might be? Uh, there could be travel vlogs, there could be fashion vlogs, there could be uh, school vlogs. You can even vlog yourself going to a store, going to a restaurant, going to uh, mountain hiking. I think with vlogging, you can vlog anything and anyone and anytime. So you can vlog like I'm going to the dentist to get my wisdom teeth removed kind of vlog. You can do like, oh, I'm cleaning my room and maybe giving you a room tour type of vlog. You could just vlog about anything wherever you go. So I think the creativity of that is just basically lifestyle vlogs where you just show everyone what you do, maybe a daily routine, maybe what you eat in a week, those type of things. I think vlogs can be anything and everything you want. So it's not that complicated. It is not that difficult in a sense, but it, you just need a camera. You just need yourself. And then you just need to go out and vlog and film something, anything and talk about what is going on, what is happening, or what is the reason why you're filming it or something. You can even do vlogs that don't require any uh, talking at all. I've seen a vlog where the person is traveling to a different country and what they did is just they just video filmed everywhere they went uh, but there was no speech involved, there was no talking, there was no commenting, there was no explanation of what's going on but basically they just had the music as the background and that was their whole video. And also in each of these categories I'm going to be including a youtuber so these youtubers are gonna be included because of this category and specific topic that is correlated to them so when I ever think of a vlogging I think of Casey Neistat I don't know too much about him but when he vlogs I mostly see travel vlogs so when looking at his videos maybe you could see what kind of camera he used what type of techniques what he does in his vlogging his travel vlogs what does he say what does he introduce uh, in a sense so so looking at his videos, definitely check out his YouTube channel, check out his videos to get some inspiration, get some advice, get some knowledge about how to vlog and maybe you could incorporate it in your vlogs as well. So number two is mukbang. So mukbang is mostly about people broadcasting themselves eating. That's what it literally means. Muk is from a uh, mukta, which is uh, to eat and pang, which means room by itself. But in this case is pang song, which means a broadcast. So it's basically eating broadcast. You are literally filming yourself eating and you have audience watching you. So this type of niche is very getting famous and 
very getting popular. What can you do? You could just eat whatever you like. So that is why I say this is kind of simple because basically we eat all the time. We just don't share it on a camera, but if you want to do mukbangs, you can eat your meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and just film yourself eating. A lot of people will enjoy seeing you eat. Some people might not, but this is a really easy thing to do. We can just video record it and then upload it as our video. And we can make some uh, adjustments with editing, but I don't think it's gonna require that much effort, uh, that much uh, time in it. Sometimes uh, YouTubers, when they do mukbangs, they also do commentary. Uh, they talk to their fans, uh, talk uh, to them through messages. Sometimes they go through a Q&A, uh, answering people's questions and talking about their life story. Some people just talk about uh, random things that happen to their life or things that happen or things that are going to happen, announcements such as, or maybe they even talk about stories. Some people also talk about uh, mystery stories while eating. So basically you just have to have food and a camera shown to you and basically you have yourself a mukbang and you eat while talking. But there's also a case where you eat and that's it. You don't talk at all. This is called ASMR where you just eat with your microphone close to you and basically everyone's just hearing you like slurp or chew. It has some kind of sound uh, vibration or sound uh, captivity that it incorporates. Uh, that's what ASMR, you could do a mukbang ASMR. The YouTuber that I want to include is one that I've been watching for quite a bit of time. Uh, this guy name is uh, Shio uh, ASMR. So basically I've seen videos of him just eating and then at the very end he said like oh thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe. So basically that's all he needs to do is just eat uh, deliciously. Who doesn't love to eat then why not just show it to the people and make a video an easy video out of it. But also there could be some strategies there could be some techniques there could be some processes when it comes to making these mukbang videos. Also when it comes to making these mukbang videos I see some people you know pick a piece of food and then show it up close to the camera for example that is to show the audience what they're eating and what it looks like so that could be a strategy to use also you could check his YouTube channel making his uh, videos uh, how it looks like what does he do what strategies does he take what techniques what angle shots does he do and it just take in advice and knowledge from all his videos and looking at other people mukbang videos and see what the process is all about also I would like to uh, mention that there are different types of ways to eat. Uh, basically, you could eat large portion size food, you could eat small portion size food, you can make mukbang videos of eating candy, you can make mukbang videos of eating just bread, you can uh, make mukbang videos of eating other types of food, foreign food, different, different countries, you could eat bizarre food and just have fun with it while eating. Number three is reaction, making reaction videos. Now, reaction videos I think is very simple and easy to make because basically you just have to search for content outside of your area and just watch it and react to it. So I see a lot of people reacting to movie trailers. I see people reacting to other YouTubers content. I see people reacting to the news, reacting to other articles or maybe an interview. So basically you just have to sit back and just watch and react to it and you could make videos, a lot of videos of it just going through that process. And when it comes to reaction videos you don't have to do a whole lot but basically you just have to watch the video and react to it and that's it but you could also uh, include commentary you could tell about the things that you liked about this video maybe you can mention some things that you don't like the video about you could talk about how you related with the video or maybe put a story behind it or maybe show some personal interest in it or maybe show personal stories about how this video is similar or how it, this video affected you or you could just watch the video video and not say a whole bunch and just react to it like this. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, so number four is gaming. So gaming, there is a lot of variety of games out there. You can play online games, computer games, and you can play video games. So a lot of time, most people on YouTube would be working on uh, video making from Twitch. Uh, Twitch is like an online streaming video, mostly containing gaming, uh, gamers. So why not create a gaming video as well? Because all you need to do is just play the game and then just record it. So it is very easy, it is very simple. 
simple. I don't think there requires too much editing. I don't think it requires too much time. If you are playing the game multiple times, then maybe it might take longer. But if you're just playing it once in a go, then just play it, the game, port it throughout, and then just post it. However, if you want to make your gaming video a little bit more professional, maybe you want to put some special effects, maybe you want to put some green wow. screen in it, then yeah, maybe that will take a lot more longer time. But uh, if you want just a short and simple video when it comes to gaming, I think just playing a game and just uh, video recording it is good enough and you just have to edit it like the beginning and the end part and then maybe add some things here and there and then just post it that is very simple in my opinion because uh, gaming takes a while maybe even longer so it will exceed and elongate your video and hopefully you will be able to watch it and have fun with it also playing games is fun so why not create a video with it along with it and just make a video happen now when it comes to gamers on YouTube I don't know a whole lot of them as of yet but when it comes to gaming I know there are a lot of gamers on Twitch and sometimes people on Twitch that are playing games maybe they are uh, pro gamers they video record their videos and put it up on YouTube and I see plenty of that so definitely check out videos on YouTube if they upload it up from their Twitch or go to Twitch and see the gamers there and see how they make their videos and how they do it number five the last one is podcast now the reason why I say podcast podcast is easy or simple it's because basically you are just talking all you need to do is just get a camera and make a talking video that is an hour long or two hours long something that is elongates it basically when I see a podcast a lot I see mostly them trying to take out a topic but it turns out at the beginning of the podcast they do talk about the topic and they go over it to to a certain extent but later on they just go off track and talk about other things and just talk about other topics and just digress to different areas of uh, conversation so basically podcast is just two people or multiple people just having a nice conversation with each other it doesn't seem that uh, hard to do but I guess when it comes to editing because there is a long video like an hour long or two hours long or three hours long the editing might be a pain but if you are just recording it as like a live where there is no editing at all you just go through the motion and just talk and and you just have to upload it then at that because you just have an hour long video and of course there are people who are not particularly good at talking or having a conversation so a podcast might not be their thing but if you are someone who likes to talk a lot about themselves or a lot about other things or a lot about other people then this podcast idea might be perfect for you so I would say this is a very easy way to make a idea for a video when you are wanting to talk about yourself and you love talking about yourself Yourself, this will be perfect for you give it a try and see if you like it or not you might like it who knows and another thing I would like to mention is that I saw a video of this person just basically talking in front of a camera like he's talking to someone all by himself solo and he's just talking like for an hour with no edits no special effects and he's just talking about his life what's been going on in his life what he's been doing just normal stuff so you could just make any video with just talking involved and just seeing a camera in front of it this is a good strategy to have when you just want to make videos about yourself now a podcast youtuber that I could think of at the top of my head is Joe Rogan uh, Joe Rogan is pretty famous he does mostly podcasts if not all podcasts he even invites important people some famous people celebrities to be on his podcast and he just has a conversation with each of them that might be something you might do later in the future maybe not celebrities to that point but maybe your friends or maybe your family members or or just people you just want to talk to and have a podcast with that might be a good idea for a collab but that might be a good idea for a video idea uh, to have certain people or different people it is another way to have a conversation and connect with different people from different areas or maybe from different countries you could talk about whatever you want any topic will do just like a normal conversation that you have in a normal day-to-day -day basis of course uh, with these video making idea categories you can make anything complicated complicated and make it more professional of course but I'm just saying that out of all these five I think would be most efficient when it comes to consistently making videos as fast as you can videos that I would compare to that might be a little bit harder and might take a little bit more time is like
like singing videos, dancing videos, uh, comedy, doing documentaries, they take a lot more time and a lot more focus and a lot more perfection to edit. Whatever you want, here's some ideas that I would suggest. And just remember that all five of these categories can be dedicated to its own entire YouTube channel. So start creating and start posting. And one last thing I would like to mention is that all of these ideas, these five categories, I'm just thinking them in the very most simple, most easy way possible of creating a video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a video, and comment down below which out of the five categories did you like, what is your favorite, or you're thinking of doing, or you're thinking of not doing. Let me know, and I'll see you guys next time.